Welcome to Anarchia Productions. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a splash screen for your application in Visual Basic 2012. So the first thing we need to do is open our software and we create a new project. This project is going to be called Splash Screen. We put OK to save our to, to start working on our project. We will use a main, a main, a main uh, form for our splash screen, and we are going to use a secondary form that is for our main application. So basically, you go to Project, Add Windows Form, and we have a Windows Form. We can rename it like Main Application. Try to don't put the spaces. You you add it. Okay, now we have two two um, two two forms, main application and form one. So in the form one, what we're going to do is put a timer. So we're going to decide how much time it's going to take for the for the um, for the, um, the splash screen to show before it shows your main application to the client. So basically, you add a timer. Now we have our timer here and we're going to put interval of 1000 that, that is going to become the time it's going to, to be seconds so we need to create a label that is the, the label that is going to be counting how much time you have remaining we're going to put uh, for this example 10 seconds you can put more or you can put less depending on how much time you want to show your splash screen so I put 10 I'm going to hide it because I don't want the client to see the time or at, le or at least that you want your client to see the time so and we see that is our application no, our label is label number one so we go and make double click into the, the form so this is a, a subroutine that is telling you a private subroutine what is going to happen when when it when the when the Windows uh, application starts? So what I what I want to happen is I want to start my timer one. So I put one timer one point start. Okay. Once I start my timer, it's going to start running. So I want to tell to my timer what it's going to do each time that it's running. Okay. So I make double click onto timer one. And it's uh, as you can see, it opened me a new, a new subroutine for what it's going to do on the timer, uh, on the timer. So what I want, what I want to do is to subtract from the label one, uh, one unit until it reaches zero. So it's going to show me my main application uh, window. So what is going to uh, happen is I will put label one point text is equal to label one point text minus one okay so thi this is telling me that each, each time that the it, hap it passed by one second uh, the label one is going to be equal to the label one minus one so it's going to be subtracting every second one one unit from the from the from the label so if label one point txt equal to zero, then do something. So we put do something here. So what we want to do is, wa is wa if we want to show our main application. So we put main application point show. Okay. So we want to show our main application, and we want to hide over our splash screen so we put me point uh, high okay so let's test our code basically it's going to start wait uh, after 10 seconds it's going to me it's going to open me our main uh, application as you can see it closed the, the splash screen and it shows you your main application now we need to add some text or some uh, or something to the Windows form. So 
what I will do is I will go to tools I will go to picture box ok it's here picture box I get my picture box I put that I, I choose my image the, the image I want for my for my splash screen so I want this one I put ok and I put ok I choose size mode a stretch and I want I want it to, to be from all my um, to, to, to dock into the, the pa pa parent container okay so now what I want is I want to delete the the, 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 um, the borders of the of the form so it's going to show nicer okay so I want to put my windows default position start position I want it to start onto the center and I want my borders to don't show form border style none as you can see my borders disappear which is good so let's add some content to our app application I will add some buttons and some mm, some text box for example I can put um, username uh, I can put uh, our application here I can put uh, password this is your, your main application so you can add any any code or anything you want I'm just showing you how it's going to react when the when the splash uh, a splash screen uh, finish loading so basically uh, you can add whatever you want here and it's going to be fine and you can add your code or whatever so I put a button there you can you can add more stuff here more menus more everything then I will just show you how the application reacts when it finish um, the, the splash screen so this is your splash screen it's going to you can put any information that you want uh, about your company about anything uh, and after that it's going to show your main application which you can put a login application uh, you can put um, uh, an application like a, a calculator or anything that you want okay so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe and like this video and share it with uh, all your friends also we are making more videos my name is Juan Jose if you want to contact me for making you a program or anything uh, you can contact me you can go to my channel and, and check my email address into the into this uh, into this box okay uh, so I hope you enjoyed, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you later.